evaluate the complex expression 1 plus i to the 10th power. Put your final answer in the form, x plus i, y. Now, one approach, we can use the binomial theorem. So I have a sum of two numbers raised to a power. So we can go to our Pascal's triangle, pull out the 10th row, load our numbers in, and then just crunch it down. Okay, that'll work. But since I have complex numbers, things work a little different. So here we have de Moivre's theorem. In this case, what do we do? We take our complex number, put it as a point in the plane, and then find its polar coordinates. So we'll have r and theta, and then the complex number that goes with that, r cosine theta plus r sine theta i. Now, if I want to raise to the 10th power, the rule is going to be you take r, raise it to the 10th power, then take your angle theta, multiply by 10. So that's going to carry us to the point r to the 10 cosine 10 theta plus r to the 10 sine of 10 theta times i. Okay, so where does this come from? This is going to come from the Euler formula. That says e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. So when I raise to the 10th power, we're taking r to the 10th power, e to the i theta to the 10th power. The new angle comes from e to the i theta. So it's going to give me, instead of a theta, a 10 theta. And then we just go back to cosine and sine. So that'll give us r to the 10, cosine 10 theta, plus r to the 10, sine of 10 theta i. OK, let's go to our numbers. So first thing, I have to put 1 plus i into polar coordinates in the plane. So what do we have? 1 plus i goes to rectangular as 1 comma 1. So I want to know what's r and theta for 1 comma 1. 1 squared plus 1 squared, square root, gives me a square root of 2. So that's going to be our r. Our theta, since I have y equals x, is going to be pi over 4. We get that by inspection. OK, we can proceed. r to the 10th power. I'm going to take square root of 2 to the 10th power, or 2 to the 5th power, I get 32. For 10 times our angle, so we're looking at 10 times pi fourths, or 5 pi halves, that's going to be coterminal with pi halves. So if I take 1 plus i to the 10th power, what are we going to get? We're going to get 32 cosine of pi halves plus 32 sine of pi halves times i. Cosine of pi halves is 0, sine of pi halves is 1, so we're going to get 0 plus 32i. Now, there's a cheap way to check our work here. If I take 1 plus i, square it, what happens? We're going to have 1 squared plus 2i plus i squared. i squared is minus 1, so we're just going to be left with 2i. So we're really looking at 2i raised to the fifth power. That's going to give me 2 to the fifth times i to the fifth. So that's our 32. i to the fifth, note, i squared is minus 1, so i to the fourth is 1, so i to the fifth is just 1 times i. So we're going to get 32 times i. So that checks my work. 